Coming to you from beautiful Wilkes County in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, we invite you to the musical world of the Kruger Brothers. Sit back, relax, and welcome to the show with your hosts, the Kruger Brothers. Yes. Hello. Uh, this is. We are here. We are here. Isn't it amazing? We're here again. Yes. We're, we're, we talked about being living in the woods on every show in Carol in Switzerland yes. almost, and um, now we're back into the woods. Yeah. Yes. In the woods. You in know, the woods. I, yes. I arrived. I got home, what one o'clock last night, mm -hmm. and then I slept a little bit, and and here I am, slightly, slightly. Uh, <laughs> Jet lagged and, and everything, you know. So, but that's yeah, you know. Here you look, we are. But you look you look good over there. I just look, you know. I look my age today. No, <laughs> oh, talk yeah. about age. Yeah, you know. You you just had a the the big six, right? Yes, so. I know. And I I, I want to take this opportunity really to thank you all for these for the congratulations uh, that, and well wishes you had sent me. I received so many uh, you know beautiful wishes from you, and I really want to. Thank you for that. That's really, it was really touching. I was uh, in my hotel room uh, the next day and uh, reading them all. <laughs> it's quite overwhelming. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It, uh, we, had, we had a good night. We played that night in uh, Bern in Konitz and um, we had a good show. You know, it was uh, uh, actually all the shows were good. All the shows were great. Yeah, yeah. Sun, you know, we, uh, in it was a whirlwind, really, because it, they, went, they went over so quick and we had almost no time in between. Yes. And it was just, yeah, ooh, running, 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 sleeping, driving, playing, sleeping, driving, playing. It really was a tour. Yes, and, tour. and just the first show was not quite sold out, but all the other shows were completely sold out with waiting lists and everything. So uh, it, was, it was a surprise to us how well it went, you know, and mm -hmm. Martin Meyer did an amazing job. We'll tell you a little bit more about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we're just going to start off playing a song. Yeah. yeah, as you can see now, it's dark again outside. Yes, behind it's dark. Yeah. Not light anymore. It's not no light anymore. You know, yeah. we we, and there's no more leaves on the tree, so it might as well be dark. Well, actually, I have a, a red maple, <laughs> and all the all the all the leaves are crumbled up, but they still stick to the tree. Yeah. I mean, this, that tree is is really greedy. It doesn't want to give well, up the, they, the they, leaves. You they're know? just afraid of the ground. They right? just don't <laughs> want to leave. You know, it's just it's still it's not. So let's play. It's mighty dark for me to travel. What do you think? Well, let's try. Let's see. Well, I haven't done it in a long time. Well, Joel's not here today. Maybe we have to mention that too, because it's not because he doesn't want to, but he's you know he's in San Francisco. Yeah, he's got, he's yeah. got to visit Norman uh -huh. and take care of his brother yes. and. Uh, we hope that everything's good over there, and that yes. Joel is, has a safe, safe trip today. I think he's he's, he's just, just about left. now. Yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah. just about now yeah. there. And uh, uh, so, so we also told Jody to to stay away from us. <laughs> <laughs> no, Take, I mean we miss yeah. him, and we we saw but, but we saw Caroline today, and that's that that's been a treat. So yeah, 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 uh, you know, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So so let's let's send this song out to Lodi, our good friend Lodi and Kerstin. Uh, because you know it's a, we, it's, a we, blue, we, it's a bluegrassy kind of tune. Yeah, and we saw them in Villingen just, yes, just yes, a week yes. ago.
thinking of the one back home. No for me, there'll be no other than this whole wide world I roam. It's mighty dark for me to travel, for my sweetheart she is gone. Road is rough and filled with gravel, I must turn. Some, there's some folks out there who want to make some T-shirts for you. Uwe put the reverb on. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Uwe put the kettle on. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, we, the first show we played in Switzerland, we, we, we arrived, and the uh, next day um, we, we played in Zollikon. Zollikon is right outside uh, Zurich. And we have, uh, uh, how do you say, triplets? You know, uh, Three sisters, yeah. Three sisters, you know, the triplets. And, and they... Uh, they're still uh, in close contact with each other, and we we used to have, you know, lots of you know get-togethers as you know in our youth when we were 14, 15, 16 years old. Oh, yeah. You know, we would get together, and uh, we had you know friends actually in Zollikon at the time, which wasn't too far from where we lived in Zurich. No, and um, so we would we would go out there, it's right on the, right by the lake, yeah. and we would we would you know play music and get together and you know dance and just have a good time, and then at midnight or sometime or one, two o'clock in the morning, we all would run down to the, to the lake, you know, and uh, just... Yeah, r- to the landing, you know, there was a nice little harbor there. Yes, and, and in uh, the middle of the night, yeah. in the pitch dark, we would, you know, uh, jump into the <laughs> lake. <laughs> and actually, you wrote a song yeah, about that, well, you know, um, about warm evening breeze. Yes. You know, the, uh, there's the, um, that's the sunny side of the, you know, Zurich, the Lake Zurich, Lake Zurich has a sunny side and a, and a dark side. Uh, and so that's on the sunny side. So in the evening, when the sun goes down, there's this this, this evening breeze coming off the hill. Yes, it is. And uh, but but it was nice to see everybody again. So many friends, you know. We we lived in in Switzerland 40 years when I think about it, you know. Almost. Yeah. Almost for, for 40 years of my life, you know. We we live you know we lived in Switzerland, so we had a lot of friends um, over there. And then now we we see each other again at the concerts and. Uh, it, it, sometimes it's almost irritating, you know. I I don't want to, I don't want the the room to be lit too much. So when I when I when I glimpse out, I don't want to, you know. When I see the people, I start thinking about memories instead of the music. Yeah. And so, but you know, but we have some some parts here in America. We have the same feeling. It's the same thing. You know, when we go up to Maine or when we play up in West Jefferson, everywhere, or, you know, oh, yes, everywhere. it's crazy. You it's know? everywhere, you know. So all of a sudden, you see a friend, you know. And but you know, wow. but. but it goes, it goes well together with getting older, you know, because I see less and less, so... <laughs> All right, let's leave it at that. Uh, so how do you want to start this evening? I, I think I'll just start it by myself, somehow. Okay. I mean, yeah. Let's see if I can remember this. A warm evening breeze gently rolls down the hill City lies sleeping Everything is still Down by the lake In the distance I see A boy and his girl Hand in hand by the key For them the whole world Is a ballroom tonight They're dancing along Neath the harvest moonlight They dance to a tune Only lovers can hear And it makes all their worries and fears disappear I 
I remember when I was that boy long ago You were that girl and how I loved you so The stars and the sky so dark and the night They sparkle like diamonds when I look in your eyes For us the whole world was a ballroom that night we were dancing along neath the harvest moonlight. We danced to a tune only lovers can hear, and it made all our worries and fears disappear. We were so much in love. Till that fateful day I held your hand But you just slipped away I feel lonesome now and then But it soothes me to see That boy and his girl Hand in hand by the key For them the whole world Is a ballroom tonight They're dancing along Neath the harvest moonlight They dance to a tune Only lovers can hear And it makes all their worries And fears disappear It makes all my worries and tears disappear. Mm. <laughs> Sentimental little song. It's I like a, that. It's a beautiful song. Yeah. I really, I really like this song. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, but that, you know, this is what it's all about. Whenever we go back to Switzerland, so many memories that come up. And yes, and 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 it was it was amazing. The 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 second concert we played. Uh, was organized, you know, with Martin Meyer, with the country friends, Kurtz, and that was in, 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 in uh, no, no, the second concert was... Long, Laufen. Yeah. It was Laufen, I'm sorry. The, the second concert was Laufen. Up in Basel. Up in and, Basel. And we played right next to the Ricola factory. Yes. And we all, we all got a big bag of Ricola. So, so I bought some, so we bought some <laughs> Ricola back uh, uh, to yeah. Caroline. And yeah. uh, so... She doesn't get sick this w this winter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's got to have a pretty voice on the on the phone, right? And, and, yeah. and that's that's actually the venue that Martin Meyer uses mostly for the acts that he invites. Martin Meyer is our promoter in Switzerland, so that's why we talk so much about him. He's a good friend, really. He is, and we've been uh, you know working and playing shows for him for a long, long time. And now he's you know putting the entire to tours together, and he also invites you know Sierra uh, Sierra, Sierra Hall. Hall. You know he, ha he had Rhonda Vincent, mm -hmm. and you know he has all uh, Alison Brown. You know and all these all these great people, and he organizes these concerts. He's one of the last organizers you know in Central Europe that brings American acts over and introduces them to to and to the Swiss and audiences. Uh, to Swiss yeah. audiences, right? And so he do he does an amazing mm -hmm. amazing job. And we had of course you know a beautiful full house and. Um, oh, yeah, it was great, and it, it's actually part. It's an old slaughterhouse, you know. Um, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah right. It's also, but it's been, it's big. It went vegetarian. Yes, you know. So they, they, that's not um, no no more slaughterhouse. But they built a beautiful concert hall in there and a music school. Yeah. So we met some of the music teachers, you know. Oh, at, yeah. at, at the, it was <laughs> that was great. fun. Yeah. It was really great. Uh, we had a fantastic time. We really did. And they have a bakery in Laufen that makes one of the best Cremeschnitte in the world, which is a. Which is, you know, one of these Swiss pastry things. You, know, we, you we should not eat too much. No, 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 no. This, this, is, this is like diabetes, diabetes on a plate. You know, this wonderful stuff, really. <laughs> Vanilla and sugar and, and dough. And it's just, it just was great. Just, I had one. Well, yeah, Martin, Martin got a few. And <laughs> so we had, we had a fan, we had really, we had a great evening there as well. Uh, that room, that room that they created sounds so dry, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when you play... And you don't look out. It sounds you're playing almost in a telephone booth. Yeah, you know, well, like in, <laughs> it's like it's yeah. tight, you know. And but everything you play is like under a microscope. And then it's you just like here. <laughs> no, here it's not. I don't. It's a big room. And you know, things escape. Yeah. 
But what what are you planning on, Jason? Jason, why don't we do Jason? You want to do Jason? Hmm. That's an entire song with no rhyme, is that? Yeah. I was, uh... Would you do that again? I was, uh... I always liked that, that Jason thing, you know, when they, they go steal the Golden Fleece. All the, you know, Iron Age myths from the, from the Black Sea, so to speak. And and it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just an incredible story. But I thought it was the pub in Huddersfield. No, 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 no. But they have a pub in Huddersfield, north yeah. in, in Umbria, North Umbria, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's in England. It's right, and, and it's where well, it's darker and colder <laughs> and rainy well, and drizzly. It's, it's actually right next to Sheffield, right? And yeah, uh, but, but we're going to be playing there again next year. I talked to Jamie. Oh. Here, and they're doing the, the Eagle Music Shop, you know, England again. So we better buy some winter clothes. I hope they let me in the country with my German passport. Well, they don't let you in that shower anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if I can remember the words to okay, this. But, uh, right. I always thought, you know, Jason, nowadays, of course, instead of stealing the Golden Fleece, maybe you would take a picture of it, you know? Be, it would be, it would, would be just a... And you, you, you put it on TikTok or something, you know? Just, uh, but back then, oh, no, no. it was much, much tougher. Yes. <laughs> Ah. 
Yes, tell me a little bit about that banjo that you're playing there. Isn't that the, is that a Julia Bell or what is that? <laughs> yes, this is a Julia Bell banjo, and I have to actually not tune it, and I don't have the right strings on, and not tune it the way it's supposed to be. Actually, it, it, it's supposed to have really thick strings and tuned down, either you know all the way, all the way to E or even D, and it sounds awesome. And but I, I have my regular strings on, just tuned down one whole step. But this mm. is a banjo designed by Alison Brown with the with drawings of John Hartford. Oh. So John Hartford you know had 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 you know drawings and, and little things and they put them all together and made these inlays. So 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 Julia Bell was that the name of a of a boat? Yes, actually it was the I think it was the boat John Hartford was captain of oh. and uh, John Hartford was a riverboat captain. Yeah. And so there's there's steamboats you know and and all kinds of beautiful inlays on here. And um, a number of years ago uh, Deering uh, Janet and Greg, you know, gave me one after Merlefest, and I set it up, and we always had our academy after Merlefest, mm -hmm. and there was a student at the academy, and she fell in love with the banjo so much that she that that she bought it from Deering, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I, I, I can't sell it, it is a gift, so you, but you can buy it from Deering, and Deering can then build me another one. Yeah. So it took a few years, and I got this one just, you know, <laughs> last year again, yeah. and, uh, and so it's. I it's think a, you it's never you never played it in the show yet. Well, right? I, I played it. I think. But once. Does, does it have a, a fret more or two? Or well, it actually has a few frets more. You know that that you have a D and an octave, and then and then again. Oh, so uh, it's so full two octaves. Yeah, then. yeah. So so it's it's got one <laughs> octave, two three octaves. Then you know ah. on the banjo, and so a lot of people can play. And you know it's it's yeah. cool, it really is, and it's a fantastic. Sounds great. Yeah, it's, a, it's mahogany. It's fantastic. Banjo. I like these black. These black. I like the whole design. Alison Brown. I mean, it's it's the it's 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 Black Friday week, right? Well, so. I, you know, actually, <laughs> it, it says. You see that here? Did you ever see this? Yeah. There's a little little thing, and it's uh, it's, it's signed, you know, with the beautiful engraving of uh, Alison Brown. Uh. And uh, but she was really instrumental, you know, in putting this together with Jamie Deering. They work really hard on this, you know, with Chad and everybody. So it's a deep resonator. It sounds really great. I'm going to, you know what? I'm, I have some Julia Bell strings, you know, they're actually designed oh. for this. And they, they come from the notes, you know, from, from John Hartford, the mm -hmm. thicknesses. And I'm going to put some of these on there. And, then and just set it, it up exactly. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I, you should hear it. It sounds mm -hmm. phenomenal. Then we can do... <laughs> anyway, I just used it, you know, I just used it now because I don't want to retune the banjo. Well, do, 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 do we have another tune that we can play with this right now? Uh, actually, what, what did we do, um, uh, Jason? We made a little list, so... Uh, no, I don't think... Warm Evening Breeze I already did on the other. No, yeah. I don't think so. Okay. I, I don't think not for this show. Um, no. So. I think we... Well, why don't... You, you know what? Then we went to... to, to the next day, we went to to Long now, to country country friends Kurtz. Yes, Long now, in, in southern Germany. Yeah, that was that was fantastic. We have never played there. And a beautiful, sold out, beautiful place, and uh, people came. Oh, yeah. from Hungary. A couple came from Hungary. Hungary yeah. They drove, you know, to to see us from Czech Republic. They came, you know, all, uh, all the way from up in the, in in Holland. They and came, yeah, a couple came from Holland, and they're all bluegrass musicians. Oh yeah, and they always they, in a lot of them, you know, watched his live streams and mm -hmm. and from Cologne, <laughs> and you know, there were four bands were there, yeah. and they rented a house right beside, you know, pretty close to the to the venue, and after the show, they all went to that house they rented. And they jammed because some of them, you know, I mean, they had yeah. overnight because they, they drove, you know, five, six hundred miles to get there. What was really fun was that there was a little trio there, guitar player, banjo player, uh, and, and, a, and a female bass player. And they played a couple of our tunes and they, and they played like note, note for note. They, they did, you know. Beautiful. I'm 18 North and, and, and yes, they played. So, so it was really, and they played up 18 North, really beautiful. Yeah. And uh, I was really, we were really impressed. So we went mm -hmm. to that jam session for a little while. And oh, yeah. And it was so much fun because we met new friends, you know, new people we have never seen, had never seen before. Mm -hmm. And the concert room sounded fantastic. Oh, yeah. It was an old, an old barn of a, of a, not a castle, but a, like in the middle of town, you know, where you would, uh, every, 
before Christmas, you would pay your taxes, and it was like the tax barn where they would store all old the old place. Really, Beautiful really old wood, place. Wood, old wooden yeah. construction. It looked like a Viking ship inside. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I, it was a, it was a great experience for us to play there. Uh, what could we do? Why don't we do it in the pines? Okay. What do you yeah, think? Yeah. I was sitting with Lodi, you know, at night, you know, with Lodi and Kerstin, and his brother, uh, Lodi's brother Paul. Well, that was on. That was the the next the, the concert. The next day, did. but but you know, the day after, you know, but and we would sit and we listened to Bill Monroe, mm -hmm. Knee Deep in Bluegrass album. You know? Ah, uh, it's just awesome. And um, there's, yeah. I don't know if that song is on there. No, that's that's Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Passed at six o'clock, and the cabin arrived at night. In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines, Lord, I shiver. I was so tired. I just got so tired 
my eyes just really just fell down. Every time I looked at the carpet, I thought, wow, this looks cozy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in the pines, uh, I don't know, there, there, there was a, a man that I really, I really admired. He, he, he passed away, but his name was Drake Walsh. Mm -hmm. And he was like the musician here in town. Mm -hmm. And he was the, the son of uh, Doc Walsh, the old banjo player up in, um, in Boone. And uh, he always said that his dad wrote that tune. Yes. So, um, so when 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 I played the song for him, he said, "That's that's about the way to do it." <laughs> <laughs> Drake was fun because you know every time he saw my car down at the pawn shop, you know, about twenty years ago when I used to hang out at the pawn shop a lot, and mm -hmm. Drake would always just come in, grab a mandolin off the of the wall, and just you know, and just play with me. I learned a lot from Drake. Drake, Drake was really a lot of fun. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yes, yeah, in, it is. in the pines. You know, in so the pines, yeah. And, and I just remembered that while I was singing, and it's just I. You know, Actually, we live in the pines. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We shouldn't have sung the song too much. When I, 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 I live, I live in the beaches actually. Yeah, so you live in the beaches. Yeah. I have, you know, oaks and all kinds pines. of pines. Pines. Yeah. <laughs> the ones that don't burn. Mm -hmm. And and um, <laughs> actually, so then the next day we we, we we had some time. Went to see Armin Block, you know, our good friend. Monday, our good friend. right? I mean, it was the, like, the yeah, yeah, day. you know, Mo Monday, you know, it was who, who, the man who made Birkenstock, you know, Birkenstock, the, the shoes, uh, the sandals, you know, they, they, <laughs> they have a team that makes Birkenstock movies. And so they made a Birkenstock movie about Uwe and me, and, mm -hmm. uh, which is really funny because, you know, Uwe's been wearing Birkenstocks for 20 years, 30 years, that. 40 years. No, no, not that long. But, but you know, I mean, I, I, I got a house. In Switzerland in 1995 or 96, mm. and the the previous owner left his Birkenstocks in there. And you and when I walked into this house, I took my shoes off. These shoes fit like a glove, and uh, I I wore those Birkenstocks <laughs> out, and I've been wearing Birkenstocks ever since. You know, so, so so Armin Block, you know, who's the producer for Birkenstock movies, you know, he was here during Merlefest. Actually, that little movie clip is gonna. It's very short. It's only a short film, but. Uh, but they're doing amazing stuff, so they have an amazing team. So they were here for Moro at the Morofest time, yeah, yeah. and they're about done with cutting and everything. Yeah. So I went to visit him. He lives in Rottweil. Rottweil. Where, that where, do the, where the dogs come where from. Where the dogs come from. But I didn't mm -hmm. see a single dog. Mm -hmm. And now I saw one dog, a little very tiny one, and mm -hmm. I thought, that's not a Rottweiler. <laughs> a, min a, a mini Weiler. Not even in, not even in training. <laughs> <laughs> but R Rockwell always also has an ammunition factory. They make they make shot shells in no, Rockwell. They do. Okay, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> so so then we went to see Lodi, of course, my good friend, and and we played in the folk the folk club, the Shoyer, you know, in Fillingen, which has a great tradition. Everybody played there, you know, uh, mm. years past. And now uh, Michael, who organizes this, he's he's very ill, and I feel so sorry about him. And. It was terrible uh, to to see him mm -hmm. suffer the way he does. Erbs, of course, he was there. Uh, you the know, sound engineer. The sound engineer, he was there. He didn't feel too well either. Mm. And it was raining and it was dreary. But uh, but the concert actually went really well. Yeah. Um, our sound engineer for the tour, Didier, he 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 brought in everything. You know, uh, the great speakers and yes, that was, that was he cool. doesn't he doesn't. He doesn't shy any expense, so he came with a truck, and <laughs> he drove into this place. You know, it's a little, Hoff, you know. yeah, a little you know place, and so he drove in. And the owner of the place, you know, beside it, he came out and he starts screaming at him that he has to repark his car, and you know, he make a huge fuss. You know that it's not possible to put the car here. He says we we're just unloading. We're playing a concert here tonight, but he was not happy no, about that. No, no, no. You know, no, they were they were afraid it's getting too loud or whatever it was. I know. don't know what yeah. it was, but he had, didn't. But have it a was it, it was really German. It was very yeah, German, yeah. And, and you know, but we had a great night. I mean, oh, it yeah, was fantastic. Yeah, it was, we saw so many you know old friends again there, and uh, uh, that was really that was really something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Am I talking too much about that tour? I no, we were I, talking I, tour. It's all right. You know, I mean, I'm 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 too tired to play anyway, so. That's well, the next day, yes. we, next day we played in Frauenfeld. Yes, why, why, why don't we play this little pick-along thing yeah, that we said? That's, that's what I'm getting at. You know, then, then, I, then we drove from southern, from southern Germany. Uh, by, uh, I came through Konstanz, yeah. you know, okay. by, by, yeah. Lake Boden, mm -hmm. by the Bodensee, and we drove through the Thurgau. Yeah. And the day was, all day was golden light. 
-hmm. And it was the perfect fall day. And it was so beautiful. We used to live there. Yes. And that's, that's where we st really started playing like that. We really started playing. We had a, you know, the restaurant, we found a, an album in the restaurant that was Lester Flat, Earl Scruggs, and Doc Watson. And later I learned that Doc Watson in 1966, you know, he went out to play record with Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs um, for that in Nashville, was it, yeah. in Nashville. And he had an appendix. Appendicitis. Appendicitis. Yeah. How do you say that? Appendici Append yeah. Appendicitis. Yeah. Uh, Caroline is laughing. She's, she's, she's. I mean, we all have an appendix. We all have an appendix, yes. You know, sooner, you know, some, some well, not anymore. No. But anyway, so. So he had a bad infection, and he was under excruciating pain. Excruciating. Excruciating pain. And he was in the hospital in Nashville to get treated, and Earl Scruggs organized that for him. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I he paid his bill. Yeah, that's what he, that's what Doc mm -hmm. told us. So, uh, yep. so, but we didn't know that at the time. No. We didn't even know that Doc Watson would sing. No idea. No idea. It's we knew that Earl album. Scruggs, and you know they played. He played banjo, of course, but we knew that. But and we saw Doc Watson play guitar. There was the the, the drawing of the trio in front, mm -hmm. so if we figured that must be Doc Watson, and because there was no internet and nothing, you know, we couldn't look it up. But we listened to it, and we put that that record on, and God knows why that record was in that restaurant and it would come to our hands because we already played banjo and guitar and and can you imagine this you're getting into some village somewhere in switzerland and there's only three albums one was a marching band right one was a swiss yodeling club and that album of doc watson lester flat and, yeah, and it didn't even have a sleeve to it didn't it. even have a sleeve to it and i still had the album and it was like kick, 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 because there's a little glue on it or something and we, we almost we almost listened to it until it became transparent. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you can you imagine. But there were some great musicians on there, not just uh, them. You know, Grady Martin played on it, played yes, the other guitar. Yes. Took me a long time to find that out, but it was amazing. And Paul Warren. Paul Warren played the fiddle, and, right? Uh, and, and, and the harmonica, you know, uh, uh, Charlie McCoy. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, of course, they had a little drumming on there as well, which really sounded great. Yes, and and of course. Um, Josh Graves. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so but but how I was sort of left like this, yeah. I sound like this. Thank you. 
Yeah. You remember that one? Josh Grace piece, yes. Yes, Evelina. Evelina. Evelina, yeah, that was beautiful, it. beautiful. Yeah. And and of course the last one was <laughs> And of course, Doc Watson played fantastic. Uh -huh. and was just sitting there and, and, and playing as while the tape was running and they just jammed along and then after they were done Doc said they asked Doc what was the name of that tune and I said oh there's nothing to it and that's what they called it even though the, the, the name of the tune was uh, I don't love nobody no nobody loves me yes, something like exactly that you know? right, so, yeah. and uh, so that, that became a classic yes. yeah. but we, we tried to learn everything when we were kids you know all, tried all, to all, yeah we tried to learn every now you got everything. it I never did no 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 <laughs> You know, we, we, we slowed, actually, we slowed the, the album down to 16 beats, so it would be... <laughs> you could hear every note yeah. and then copy it and try to make it sound like that. <laughs> it, it really... It was but, you know, actually, I feel like I want to play it at that speed now, so... What do you think, Jens? You want to do one more and then, and then bring, bring the show home for the day? Yes, we had. I think. Uh, I think we're, we're all. I'm, ex I'm exhausted. Uh, really. Yeah. And oh yes, we 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 want to make a special announcement uh, one more time. There's a few things we wanted to talk about. We haven't because oh. you know I talked about the tour, but um, I got carried away. So first of all, we're gonna play with the Greensboro Symphony on New Year's Eve, and it's a big theater, and we're trying to you know get get people in the seats, and it's it's gonna be a great night because we're gonna play with full eighty piece symphony. We have put a great Program selection oh, yeah, of, oh, yeah. of things together. Oh, yeah. And it's a lot of music and a lot of fun. And I think they have all kinds of drinks and food and all kinds of things there, you know, for that for that New Year's Eve celebration. And it's a big tradition for Greensboro Symphony, as far as, far as I know. And uh, so we're very honored to be there mm -hmm. and have that evening with all our friends and new friends. So check it out. Maybe you want to spend some time with us on New Year's Eve with the Greensboro Symphony. It's a glorious night. I, I, know I, th I think Dulcie already said she's come, come down from oh, New Hampshire. Oh, there's so many people, actually, I know that, that, that are coming you know, from all over the world, pretty much. And, yeah. uh, and the other thing is we wanted to talk about is our academy. Our academy is open, and we're filling up very quickly. So yeah. if you want to have a space at the academy, that's in... Uh, what date was that, Caroline? 20. Yes. Uh, March, Tw March March twenty third to twenty sixth, and uh, Thursday till Sunday. Yeah. Thursday till Sunday, and we are going to have the Back Porch Bluegrass Band again uh, for jamming. We have Laura Businger and Josh Goforth helping teaching. Teaching, yeah. And we have you know people from all over the world. Actually, we have a, a man from Switzerland, you know, signed up to come <laughs> yes. and, and and learn. Cornelia's husband just signed up. 
Oh, yeah, Cornelia yeah, yeah. bought him, bought him the... Cornelia is the conductor we're working with, with the Symphony of the Mountain. Yeah. And her husband is playing guitar. And he's coming. Yeah. So he's in for a treat. Yeah. And, and she's... Stephen is going to be fun. She's, she's going to come and conduct my banjo lessons. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You know what? I haven't played all-time music in, yeah. this, in this entire set. And I want to play some claw hammer. Oh. I mean, if that's okay with you. Sure. And you know what? Then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm yes. so I'm so tired. I can't believe how tired I just got. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and there's so many things to be thankful for. You know, absolutely. So it's it's my it's actually my favorite holiday in the year. There's nothing that I like more than Thanksgiving. It's it's it's, it's probably the, the most the most wonderful for me. It is. You know, this is, I'm 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 not such a big Christmas no, guy no, or no, something, no, no, no. but. Uh, but Thanksgiving is just, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Well, we want to, we are thankful for you all. We are thankful for uh, still helping us. Thankful you're still tuning in and spend some time with us. You know, it, it means a lot. Uh, it means a lot to us. Thank you, Caroline, for helping out. We, 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 uh, uh, couldn't think, do it. we couldn't we think, do it. We think very, very much of uh, Joe and his brother. You know, we, yes. hope, we hope Norman is doing well. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, sending all our, our well wishes uh, to Norman. Yes. And uh, of course, our love to Sakaro and, and the whole Landsberg family. So, here we go with Angelina Baker. But not without reverb. <laughs>
thank you so much. Uh, we'll, we'll see you next week. You all take care. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Broadcasting from Double Time Recording Studio in Wilkes County, North Carolina, thank you for watching and all your continued support. Please make sure and comment on how much you enjoyed the show and share it with your friends. Join us next time for another edition of The Musical World of the Kruger Brothers.